Yeah. Hey. Woke up one day like fuck it. I feel like turning nothing into something. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Savage Wolf, and um, today's gonna be a vlog because people wanted a vlog today. So I'm gonna be doing a vlog. You're welcome. I might do. I might be having a pool party later. I might not go. I might go. I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do because my sister's gonna be dropped off and be, to me in like an hour. So I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, but honestly, I'm just gonna maybe like write some music or like practice my practice my music or something like that. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I'm bored, so I'm gonna do something. So let's get started with the day. Tell me when you left me It don't feel the same when I wake up I'm afraid to say this to your face Cause you're the type of girl I want to say I just want to say, it took me a whole ass day just to edit the song in and get it the right way I wanted it. And I made my intro today, so that's the best thing I've ever done. Um, the intro is something that I I watched the, I watched the video on it, and then I just took what he did and made it my own. Kind of get what I'm saying? So like, improv. But yeah, keep keep watching the video. All right. So I was practicing on some vocals. To be honest, I do not like my vocals right now. They suck dookie right now. So just so you know, there will not be any covers unless I feel like I'm good at it. Anyways, I'm going to start on writing this song for my cousin. So let's get to writing and I'm going to find a beat first. That is the most important thing. Second, after you write lyrics. But how I do it, I just right to the song, I don't know why, I'm just good at that, kind of, a little bit, meh, get what I'm saying, so, let's find a beat.
this is honestly all I have right now. If you can read that. There you go. Uh, it sucks. Yeah, I know. But um, I'm going to work on it off, off camera. Because I want to make a video of me wrapping it. And I might do it. I might do it, but I might not if it's good. But I want to share it with the people who I care about most. And the people who I care about most are my fans, my family and all that type of stuff. So, I will be making a video on that soon. But, let's just get into later right now. I'll see you guys in like about 30, 40 minutes. I got demons in my brain, they want me to let it go. They want me to let it go. Bust down glass all in the paddock. They just trying to kill me because I have it. Demons in my brain and they want to go. If I say hey, I got demons in my brain, they want me to let it go Shorty tell me I'm the same, cause I'm fucking all these hoes And we been through the rain, we can make it through the snow Heard them niggas throwing shade, fuck them all cause they broke That's right, I signed my death no what's hope Wrapped around my neck, go rope Alright, I'm sorry, my head is so fucking crazy right now I can't put them, I can barely put them down as much as I want I don't want them to be like down in here Cause my hair's long it won't go down. So I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. But anyway, the candle lighting for my cousin. Um, and shit is boring. Everyone's eating and shit, but not me. I'm just chilling in the living, living space. I guess. I guess. I don't know what I'm bored. I don't know what to say. I just want to make this vlog longer. I'm gonna record the actual candle lighting. Um, but um, sorry for that. I guess after that, that's, that's the vlog. I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna insert a, a bunch of pictures. I'm gonna stop talking and get on with the vlog. <laughs> Good job, Melanie. Hi, my name is Maru. You guys probably won't be. So, but I just I just want to say that 
Miles is not a crazy, psychotic, schizophrenic person. So let me just go there real quick and let you all know right now. So last week, we were at a Memorial Day party. If, if you ask anyone at that party, if, if they thought he had a mental illness, they would say no. So what I'm trying to say is mental illness is real. It's prevalent. It's in the community. And um, Satan is, I understand he might have been a threat. I get it, because he had a garden tool. But he didn't have a weapon. He didn't have something that was going to fire and kill somebody. Mind you, he did not hurt anybody. It was property damage. So I'm just saying property damage, human life. Property damage, human life. It doesn't make sense. So we're going to make change. And I'm telling you right now, so like I somehow I'm going to become the poster child. You're going to see me on the news. Yes, I'm going to be on the news. I'm going to make in interviews. We're going to talk about our family. We're going to talk. You guys, mental health, there is stigma around mental health. OK? And I don't know. I know a lot of people here. I've had conversations. I'm not afraid to say that my child was mentally ill. He was mentally ill, but he, like, he was mentally ill like on Saturday, but then like on like three weeks, three weeks later, he was fine. So mentally ill, a mentally ill person in an early stage, we were trying to save his life. I felt like I was on a journey to save this boy's life. So unfortunately, we're here at the stage where it didn't work out, and um, there's going to be a lot of. Um, discussion, a lot of investigation, a lot of training, a lot of change. And there's going to be a lot of change in the way that people look at mental health and let families be more involved. And that's the problem. So the problem goes to that there's so many layers of mental health and you can't do anything because he's an adult. But mental health needs family. They need community. They need people to make advocate and be changed. But we didn't have that opportunity, and we tried everything we could over the last three years. And some people knew that, some people didn't. But we have. We've been fighting for this child. And you know, if Miles, if you ask Miles today, hey, do you have a mental illness? He would say no, because he really didn't think he did. And that's the really the hard part of mental illness is that there's he had it bad. He had a bad work. He didn't understand that he was sick. And that's where you need your family and community, your family, really, right? If you have a family, to be able to help you and change the way that things are. But unfortunately, we had to use police resources, and um, they failed him. And the system failed him. Yeah. So just let you know, we're going to make change, and I appreciate you guys' help. I'll figure out how we're going to make that change, but it's going to happen. So I appreciate you guys being here. Has it Yeah. Uh, so put your phone on and use a flashlight. And also, um, a little one. Friday, June 21st at 6 o'clock at Walnut Creek Presbyterian. Thank you. What? I'm going to get burned by the wax. You want me to take that? Sure. I have fire. 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 Life's a dungeon. Chase the drug. Explain everything in my face. Walk through blood. Alright y'all, my hair looks crazy as hell, but this is the next day, I'm going to Six Flags today, so I'm going to make a vlog about that, but I'm going to end this vlog because I want to end it on a positive note, and I feel my cousin's candle lighting was a more positive thing, and what everyone had to say was like really positive, and I wanted to... Let you guys know that if, if you have a mental illness, you don't have to like hide it or anything. But when it comes to police, it's hard. It, it, you, you sometimes have to because I okay. I'm gonna be honest. 
I have ADHD, so I'm hyper as hell. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, I can't sit down for a, a, a short amount of time. I can't focus for a short amount of time. I just have to do everything fast. And so when I had got pulled over like a year ago, um, or two, actually no, it was two years ago, um, I had to slow down because they were asking me these questions and it was just over and over and over on repeat. And I had to calm myself down, slow down. Cause I didn't want them, I didn't want them to think that I was like trying to say something slick or like do something stupid. But anyways, um, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's, when it comes to, when it comes to like mental illnesses, the police should never be the first resource if you're like a person of color to be honest um and that's really all i wanted to say i love you guys and i hope you guys had a great day have a great day um today is yesterday started in the beginning for me um now i have to live up to the legacy of my cousin because he was doing, he was doing great things he was going to do great things but he didn't make it so it's my responsibility to finish that. See? And I get distracted easily. Anyways. See you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.